Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to process payroll with Aruti Payroll Module. With Aruti Payroll Module, you can define processing and payment periods from weekly, monthly to yearly, or any other user defined periods. You can also integrate payroll process with your financial management system. So, to start with your payroll process, you need to define your business logic for earning and deduction. This falls under transaction heads. So we will click on transaction heads and we will see a list of all our earnings and deductions that have been put into the system. Mind you, this is a demo database for demo purpose. So we can also filter for earnings or whatever transaction heads we want to see. So we want to see only earnings for employees. We can filter for that or deduction for em from employees. We can also filter and have that. Also, depending on the organization's preference, we can create new earnings and deductions. So when you click new, so when you click new, um, it gives you a pop-up. And then you can enter the transaction code and then the transaction head name. And you can select whether the transaction head is an earning a deduction or an employee statutory deduction, such as income tax. You can also set or choose whether it's an allowance. You can also set or choose whether it's an allowance, a salary, a bonus, commission, benefit, or whatever um, category which it falls in. You can also choose whether it is um, supposed to be computed or it's a flat rate. Um, a flat rate is entered manually. So let us create a transaction here called sales bonus. So I'll enter my transaction code. And so with the sale bonus, for each sale that an employee makes, he gets a bonus that is assigned to him or her. So we are going to create a transaction and then set it so that system computes the em employee's bonus. So with the sale bonus, we are going to give each employee So with the sale bonus, we are going to reward employees based on the number of sales they make. So first off, we can create an informational transaction head, and we need to make it a flat rate. So say at the end of every month, we can enter manually the total, the total sales an employee need. So we will create an informational transaction head, and we will name it and number of skills need. So it's informational. Yes, type is it's also informational and it's a flat tree, meaning it will be entered manually. So then we can go ahead and save. Once this is created, we need to create a formula so the system can compute bonus to be rewarded to employee. So we need to create another transaction here called sales bonus. So we will enter transaction head name as sales bonus. And this is an earning for employee. It is a bonus, and then it needs to be computed. So we selected, so sorry, we select as computed value. So over here, we choose compute on specified formula because we will specify the formula to which this transaction here should be computed. So we would go ahead 
and specify a formula. So we choose a function. So we choose transaction head and then the transaction head will be the number of fields made. We choose zero and then we add. So we are creating or we are specifying a formula to which the sales bonus should be calculated. So, okay. Over here we choose a constant value since the amount is going to be fixed. So we select constant value and then we enter the amount the sales bonus to be given each month is 80 cities. So I enter that here and then I add. So we are going to have at the end of every month um, the number of sales made multiplied by 80 Ghana cities to give um, the employee his or her sales bonus. So we can go ahead and then see. So over here we now have our specified formula. So we can go ahead and and add but before that we need to select slab type as percentage and then the value base we'll make a hundred and then amount up to ninety nine and then we can go ahead and save. So after this is done, we can check and see if our transaction head is created. So as we can see, we have our sales bonus here. And it is under earning for employee. So we can filter and still see our sales bonus here. So basically, that is how we create a transaction head. So once we have all our transaction heads, we can then go ahead and assign to employees. So to assign, we go to global assign earnings and deductions, and there we select an effective period which we want this earning and deduction to apply to. Then we select a transaction head type transaction type and then the main transaction head which is the bonus. The date which is it is supposed to end which is an end date and then we can assign to all employees or we can select a number of employees we want this to apply to. We can also um, select only newly added employees. So as you can see, I don't have any newly added employees. So it's not showing any employee. And we have also the advanced filter function, which gives us the opportunity to assign a transaction head to a branch or a specific department or a specific job or unit or section. So Say I want to assign my sales bonus to the sales department, I can go ahead and then apply my in the case where we want to assign all transaction heads to a specific employee or to all em employees, we go to the batch entry and then we select the effective period enter batch name which is all earnings and deductions and then we can assign if we want to assign to all employees or some specific employees we go ahead and select or as I said earlier if we want to use the advanced filter to, to assign all the earnings and deductions to a particular branch or department then we can go ahead and then apply the advanced filter okay so after any and deductions have been assigned, we can then go ahead and process payroll. In a routine, the payroll process is very straightforward. But before we process payroll, we need to update the informational heads, which are the flash rates. 
So we go to process payroll and as we can see some transaction heads have as computed values which means that they, they will automatically be computed by system. The ones with flat rates we will have to enter them manually. Actually there are three ways of doing this. You can either choose to enter them manually which we are, we are going to do now. So we select um, a, a transaction head and then we edit. Edit our flat rates. So here we can enter the number of sales that the employee made and then we can um, go ahead and save. Sorry. So we can edit our flat rates and then we can enter the total number of sales the employee made. Say the employee made a sales of 20 or made sales to 20 people. We can select cumulative start date and then save. And then we save. So this is one process of updating flat rate head. Another way is to use the global assign ED. Okay, we'll close this and then go to the global assign ED. So this function actually allows us to sign a particular amount to all employees at a go. So we can select a group of people or a group of employees and assign an amount of say fuel to them. So we we'll select our effective period and then we we'll select an um, NN for employee and then allowance transaction head. Say fuel allowance. So we we'll enter our flat rate, say three hundred CDs. And then we'll select all employees at a go, and then we'll assign to them um, this flat rate. So we go ahead, and then we can see when it it will apply to all the employees that have been selected. Okay, so that is the second way. So lastly, we can import flat rate heads as an Excel sheet. So you go to earnings and deductions and then update flat rate. This opens a bar that allows you to get a file format. And so we have an example of the file format. So this is an example of the file format we have here. So we have a list of all our employees here. For those who you have to enter, say those who are assigned to transport allowance, you can uh, manually enter here for all employees that you want to assign transport allowance or any other flat rates. You can make that input here. For the employees that don't need flat rates, you can still keep as zero. With the performance bonus, if you are using our performance and appraisal model, you can directly integrate it to the system so that it directly sets. With the performance bonus, if you are using a routine performance and appraisal model, then you can integrate it to your payroll system. So after inputs have been made, we can then go ahead and save file and then import it by going to earnings and deductions. So at earnings and deductions, then we search for a file. So here is a file and we can then open it and then we have it here.
So the next thing we have to do now is to map them. So we will choose employee code. And one thing is you have to make sure that the fields created in your Excel sheet have the, na the same name as and the fields in the system so that it can map. Either way, if um, the spellings are not right, you can go ahead and select here and then map them. Okay, so now we have we have our file here, so we can see that the uh, the flat rate that we entered it has applied here. So we can go ahead and import. With all this done, we can then go ahead and process payroll. Before you process payroll, you need to make sure that the previous um, payroll period has been closed. Then can you go ahead and then process payroll for this period. So to process payroll, we will select the employee. If you want to select all employees, you can click here. If there are some selected employees you want to process payroll for, then you can click those employees and then we can go ahead and process payroll. So depending on the number of employees, um, ours is done in three seconds. So this is how simple payroll process can be with a routine. Just with a click in three seconds, we are done with payroll. So here are some key reports you can find in Aruti Payroll. Um, if you are interested in purchasing Aruti, if you are interested in knowing more about Aruti, then you can visit our website at www.powersofsystem.com or you can also contact us. Here are our contact details. You can contact us here or you can send a mail to sales at parsos.com. Thank you.